I have always loved the simple and modern look of board form concrete. A lot of architecture these days incorporates this technique, and to me, the mix of wood, grain, and concrete provide a perfect texture. In today's video, I'm going to try to kind of replicate this look and do a planter box. I started by cutting some pine boards. Pine probably isn't the best option for pronounced wood grain, but you know what, it's cheap. The wood would typically be sandblasted to really bring out the grain, but I don't have any of the tools for that laying around. So I just let the boards dry out in the sun for a little bit. Hopefully that would help bring out the grain a little more. Next I cut some scrap wood into strips. These will help to keep the boards lined up. I laid four boards out at a time, clamped them together, and then attached the strips to the middle. As always, I made sure to pre-drill holes first and then screwed it in using screws that didn't go all the way through. These panels that I am putting together will make up the walls of the concrete mold. I then repeated this process three more times. Put each panel together into a square and clamp them tight. Once again, I pre-drilled and screwed together each wall. Now it was time to cut a piece for the base of the mold. For this I used some melamine that I had from an old shelf. I then attached this to one of the ends of the box. Now it was time to start measuring and cutting the pieces to make the inner box in the mold. I once again used melamine for this. This ensures that the concrete won't stick to it. A straight edge and a circular saw will do the trick for this. Just like before, I clamped these pieces in a square and screwed each together. I used a smaller piece of melamine to close one of the ends and then I screwed that in. Finally, I attached one more wood strip to the open end of the melamine box. This will help keep the box in place while it sits in the wet concrete. I then used some smooth black tape to cover all the exposed wood areas of the melamine box. This would prevent the concrete from sticking to any of these areas. Now this step is optional, but I wipe some paste wax onto every surface of the mold. This will make it much easier to remove the concrete planter from the mold later on. Now it was time to start mixing the concrete. For this project, and for most projects that I do, I use Quickcrete 5000. This concrete is very cheap and very durable. You want to keep adding water and mixing until you have the consistency of wet oatmeal.
I started by adding a base layer of concrete to the box. I made sure to really push the concrete into all corners, then slammed it onto the ground a few times to really disperse everything. I added the melamine box and screwed it in place. I took my time and I added concrete into the remaining gap. Just as a side note, you could probably see that there are a lot of extra screws in the side walls. That's because this is the second time that I used this mold, and so I'm using some of the footage from that. It is very important to tap and vibrate every side of the mold. This will remove a lot of the air bubbles and will help fill all the voids. After the mold was filled, I vibrated the mold once more. I used a paint stick to screed the top and gave some final tapping. It is very important to cover the mold with plastic while it cures. This will ensure that the moisture doesn't escape too quickly. I usually allow at least four full days for the concrete to fully cure. It was now time to demold. The inside box was a bit tricky to remove. I had to drill some holes to help release some pressure. And then slowly and carefully chipped away at the wood. With some patience, I was able to remove it nicely. I use an orbital sander to sand and smooth only the top. Then I hand sanded any really rough corners. It's important not to sand the sides, you don't want to lose the grain effect. Finally I gave it a good vacuum and wiped it down with some water. I'm actually very happy with this planet box. This is only the first iteration of this project. I will be making more of these and improving the process as I go, so stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching.